Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian back here again. I want to take you through a project I'm working on for the production of what's called bio crude oil, which is basically another term for a uh, creosote that you produce from syngas production, otherwise known as gasification production. Let me take you through what we've got going on here. The system's not quite done, but right now I'm doing a test uh, of how much gas is going to get produced by the system. That is a sealed can. Let me walk you around and show you what it looks like there. It's got just a single pipe rolling out of the back side of it, so one inch piece of black iron gas pipe. Uh, real quickly here, this will be hooked up right here, this other can, right to here. I have a plug in there right now. That's going to be your first heavy creosote collection container. The gas is going to roll down here, and what happens right here, as you can tell, there's a little bit of gas starting to roll out. With the wind here, it's a little difficult to tell. But there's some gas starting to roll out right there out of the top. And all I have to do is shut this valve when I'm ready. And the gas is going to start working its way through the system much more effective. As this gas starts to cool, it's going to come up to here. It's going to work its way uphill. As it does so, the hydrogen inside of the gas will be the lightest of all the gases traveling uphill and definitely make it over the top. Much of the creosote we built redrip down into the second collection container here. Now the rest of it's going to go up cross through the pipe here, come down through this, and right now what I'm doing with this can is setting it up to become a, uh, a condenser. I'm going to fill it with cold water. That's going to make a coil inside of it and come out the bottom uh, here. I just wanted to see what kind of gas I'm producing. All right, folks, here we are back again. Uh, this is going to be the bio crude oil production system here. I'm going to take you through right now. We've got it heated up. You can see a heat shield I just threw on there. It was kind of hot, so it's not going to be too straight. Uh, but this is going to be producing what's called bio crude oil. I'm going to take you through here and just show you that our syngas production is doing pretty well. So here's the smoke coming out of the end of the whole system right here. Let's hit that with a lighter. If I can get the lighter to light. There we go. And as you can tell, it's a good burning gas there. Nice and clean. Uh, direct composition of a basically hydrogen, methane, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and a little bit of nitrogen. Hi folks, Mr. Thessalonian here again. Uh, this is part two of the bio crude oil facility here, uh, manufacturing capability that we're working on. Uh, what you see here is the reactor. The reactor is basically, let me show you here. It's two of these five gallon steel cans, oh, oil cans. I cut the top off of one and the bottom off of another and slid them over each other so they make a really long slide seal over each other. One pipe as you can tell here welded in with an elbow. It's a one inch pipe coming out of the back of there. Welded in with an elbow. So we've got the tube coming down and in the last video I was burning it with a bunch of wood inside the reactor here. I want to show you what the crude oil looks like. You can see I pulled the little plug I showed you in the first one. Here's the crude oil sitting there that's coming out of the system. Let me take a stick here and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it's a nice crude oil. Very, very thick. Nice and black. This is going to be the uh, thickest and heaviest grade of the crude oil that we catch throughout this system. Uh, this is the first stage of recovery, first stage of capture of crude here, bio crude. That's that first can that's going to be right there. That's going to be a little bit better refined stage of crude and then out of the third stage here after it goes through the two uh, radiators or maybe a single radiator and a condenser out of the top up here uh, we'll have the third stage which should be much more refined state of crude oil. Uh, so here's what we've got going on here. Let me back up and show you why it's working this way. If you notice here there's a downward slope to that pipe going through there. Uh, it's working opposite of thermodynamic pressures. And what that's going to do is actually force the smoke to release as much of this crude as it possibly can because it's actually wanting to go uphill, which would be easy. The smoke's not going to cool real quickly. By forcing it slightly downhill, we're forcing a lot of that heat energy out, making sure it's releasing a lot of that, let's call it creosote or bio crude. Uh, it's a different form of creosote than you'd produce in a normal wood stove. It also allows for the creosote to roll down the bottom of the pipe, hit our T block here, and run down into our first collection container. Uh, it goes into a smaller point here. It reduces. This is a reducing point right at the capture point. This will help re uh, restrict the pressure, 
help fundamentalize some of the cooling right here and a focus point for our first capture. The gas gets refined and reduced slightly in volume through the system here. Hits our next T. Uh, some of the gas will naturally be heavy and want to drop down into the container on its own. Uh, that's not really how it would work uh, all the time, but some of it will do that. What's going on here is through thermodynamics now, hydrogen, uh, carbon monoxide, and all the rest of the lighter gases are going to easily flow up this pipe through thermodynamic pressure. Now you've cooled a lot of that gas by running it downhill, trying to bring in into this lower container as much as the second grade creosote as you can, or bio crude. Now by running it uphill again, you're going to really force all the heavy hydrocarbons and other elements inside of this to focus out of the hydrogen gas and the carbon monoxide, combine, sit as a residue, and run back down this pipe into our second collector. Anything that does make it up is going to span now for four feet at a slightly sloping uphill angle. The same angle as the lower pipe slopes downhill, this pipe is now sloping uphill to match and equal. That'll help anything that gathers run backwards down the pipe to the junction and down into the catch. And also helps take some of the heat out of it up here. Now the heat being lost through this four foot section up here will make sure that the smoke once entering this point and dropping downhill will be cooler here than here. That'll help the thermodynamic process an updraft, a cool off, a downdraft into the radiator and then into a condenser which I'm going to get done here today uh, which I'll show you a video on once I'm done. Well until the next video I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Teslonian and making bio crude oil. Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. I finally got the bio crude system fully completed and what I'm going to do today is go ahead and explain a little bit of what I've done here to complete the system and also show you it in action and at the end of the day show you some of the crude oil we've collected. Uh, later on I'll show you how to refine this crude oil into fuel that you can use in any engine. So let's go ahead and go through this process. I've already explained uh, the big pipe in the background in the first two videos and the, the first collection jugs here, which I'll come in and show you. I've already tried to explain these a little bit. This is a downhill pipe that's going to go anti uh, the direction of natural thermodynamic processes. That'll help condense out or precipitate out some of the oils at a much faster rate than it would be if that pipe was going the natural uh, thermodynamic flow direction. So anyways, we have our first catch here. This this is going to be the heaviest and thickest of the crude oil, uh, this can here. And you notice I have a spout coming out the bottom here into this one liter bottle. Uh, what that is is allows me to pull that off and do a check on this oil as it's running and the system's moving here. Gives me also an indicator that we're starting to fill up. So anyways, let me go through here and show you the rest of it. It goes down that pipe from a reduction point here. Uh, into another T. This is our secondary catch like I explained on the first videos. Comes up the hill here with the lighter gases not yet condensed. Rises across, loses a lot of energy and now is once again restricted into a quarter inch copper gas pipe. That runs down here and as you can see here that's full of water. Uh, that's nice cold water. It's got a little bit of pine needles. It came from the pond so it's nice and cold here. I've got a nice 20 loop condenser coil inside of this five gallon tank. Uh, running out the bottom of it, you see the pipe running out here into the top of this one gallon uh, pickle jar here. And so you can see that it just comes into the top of the jar. The next pipe comes out of the top of the jar. We're not actually trying to put it down too far because you don't want it bubbling once it starts to fill with crude oil. Uh, you just want it grabbing the lightest of the gases, the hydrogens and the nitrogens, the carbon monoxides and others uh, that are still left within this system. You want to grab, grab that right off the top. Now it comes up this pipe here, goes through the T, and once again we have a secondary condenser uh, that this goes through. Now it's about four or five loops going through there. Comes out through there, and that's where the liquid's going to condense from this condenser. That's where it's going to be caught. This is a five gallon plastic jug here, a uh, Culligan jug. Uh, the smoke's been cooled quite a bit by the time it gets here, so I can start incorporating a little bit more plastic in the system. The liquid will be flowing, dropping the jug, and the lighter smoke will continue on now down the pipe. And I'm actually going to show a couple shots of this running a generator and running a uh, propane-powered refrigeration system. That way you can see that when your wood stove over here in the background is running, keeping your house warm, you can have the reactor up top now fueling uh, crude oil for your car. It's also heating your hot water, by the way, in your wood stove. The crude oil production 
they can refine that crude oil into gasoline directly back through the stove and out the pipe here at the end you have uh, both your propane powered refrigeration system and your generator running all off of just one wood stove and a tank of fuel above it all from organic materials here so give me a moment to set up the camera here and I'm going to show you what we've got going I'm going to light the reactor which you see right here uh, the reactor is very simple it's just two pieces of can I'll pull the top off you can see it's full of wood here back to the top and all it is is a cut off piece of can here the bottom of a can and I cut the top off the other one here and they seal over each other quite a ways and create a really nice pressure sealed chamber reactor so give me just a moment and I'll show you how to put this all together light it up and we're gonna watch crude oil in production